Since Steven's <laughs> been way too Hollywood to talk about this, I'ma get you guys on it. Our man's here. What's on Squid Games? 243. I, 243. I know you guys saw him. And let me tell you what an experience it was for me. It was definitely hard not being able to like talk to him and see him and in all honesty, the piece wasn't bad. Oh. I got some just me time and it was nice. The biggest thing was seeing him on the show and how it made me feel. I have known every bit of part of this man's life for, for almost a decade. Everything he does, I know what he's doing. We're always with each other for almost a decade. And to see him have this whole other life on TV <laughs> without me there, like, I don't know these people. I don't know what's going on. He's there for, I don't even know how long. Like, well, I mean, I do know how long, two and a half weeks. But, like, just going through this, like, whole other experience and I knew nothing about it. And, like, he can only explain so much to me. Like, everything is non-disclosures, it's hush-hush, there's no pictures, there's no videos, there's nothing. So mm -hmm. I had I had no clue, like, what I was getting into, not to mention this man's uh, communication skills are zip to none. So him actually, like, explaining, like, a lot of things wasn't there. I knew about Rick, I knew about him getting in, like, a little, like, like gang, 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 gang. And I know, like, his elimination and, like, what kind of conspired from that. But other than that, I knew nothing. I knew nothing of the people. I knew nothing about, like, anything. Um, it was so, like, surreal because it was you. It was the person I'm with. It was the mullet. I know you were there. It was, <laughs> it was like, you being you. But it was so weird because, like, you're just in a whole nother world. I was like, this is, like, weird to watch him. It felt like I was in a whole nother world. It felt like I was in VR. Like, when I was, like, watching it, it felt, felt like I was in VR. And thinking back on it, obviously, in the moment, while I'm there, it was freaking real and hard. It felt like the whole thing, stop messing with Aurora, felt like hiking Mount Everest. Like, it was hard as hell. Annoying at sometimes, but freaking rewarding. So yeah, it was just a whole lot being there, and it felt not real after I got home. Did you miss us? Yeah, I miss you guys. <laughs> Almost damn quit. <laughs> yeah, we got pretty bad. I was surprised and happy when I got his call and I got like the picture of him in the selfie. Like he was like this in the like interview room i was like oh my gosh like part of me was sad because i knew that he had gotten out because i knew that the games didn't go that fast um hush hush i had an insider in the games um i had an insider in production that was letting me know when like the games were played like oh they're playing a game today or oh they didn't play a game today so i kind of knew and like how many people were left i kind of knew well, like where he was because <laughs> i forgot until now <laughs> so i kind of knew like oh there's a game being played today i wonder if he'll call me like i wonder if he's gonna follow through and it happened to be on a day that they weren't playing a game that i got a call so I was surprised. I was definitely surprised to hear his call, but I was very happy to know that he was coming home. Should I do a season two if they do a season two? No. <laughs> I mean... They better pay me. One, they better pay you. Two, none of that non... N no talking NBA to the family. Stuff. My biggest thing is... You being able to call the girls and say goodnight. I think that was the hardest thing about you being gone. Was Aurora was crying. Right. Like daily. Because she just <laughs> wanted to see you and say hi to you. And she was like super sad that she didn't get to like even just say I love you. She was like can we please just call him mom just for like two seconds. So that I can say I love you to my daddy. And I had to tell her that you know we can't we can't call him. Like there's no way to. And 
you and Maya were just forming your bond right when you left. And I was, I was worried that when you came back, like she was going to be really clingy to me and that you guys weren't going to have like that strong bond, but you came back and now your bond is stronger than ever. (laughs) Immediately she ran up to you and was super happy to see you. And now she screams (gasps) your name throughout the house. She cuddles you and prefers you. She tattles on me when she doesn't get her way with me. Daddy, daddy, mommy. (laughs) I think it was a wonderful experience. Like, I'm happy you went through it. I wish I could have, like, gone through it too. But the not being able to talk to the kids, I don't think I'd be able to do it. Yeah, that would have been nice to win the damn money. Yeah, that too. That would have been really freaking cool. What would you have done with it? Paid off all of our debt, first and foremost. I'd have paid off my mom's debt, bought my mom a better house and car, and invested in businesses and properties. Just make some money making moves, long-term moves. Put some I... aside for the girls' schooling funds. Okay, I like that. I'd take us on a big old fancy around-the-world vacation. That would be really cool to go backpacking around the world with the kids. I don't want to do anything without the kids. It's, it doesn't seem as cool. I've done, done social media. I've done reality TV. I'm trying to be on a movie now or something. What you guys think? Also, let us know if you guys want us to talk about anything Squid Games related or anything at all. Let us know in the comments. Help us get to a million subscribers on YouTube and we will do a Q&A on our channel. And start a podcast. And potentially start a podcast. I already said we're going to start a podcast. Oh, <laughs> think that's our cue to go tune in tune in to squid games if you guys ain't watched it yet make sure you go watch it. it's really freaking good you can ouch go, and you can go see your boy up on there love bye